we just got a delivery. It's Story's Little Spoons. Okay, now that Story's asleep, I can show you guys what came in the mail. This is called Little Spoon. Let me just start off by saying this is not sponsored. I just really, really like it. And Story really likes it too, or we wouldn't do this. But we started doing this when she was seven months old. Um, we were doing a lot of traveling. Um, as you know, Tim's in the army, so we're on the road a lot. That leaves us very little time to actually make her food. And we found Little Spoon. I believe it was either on Facebook or Instagram. We decided to try it out. They ship directly to your address, wherever you are. So it can come to your home, or if you're going on vacation, you can arrange it to be shipped to your vacation spot or wherever you want it to go. You can pick how many meals come in your box. Little Spoon used to only have baby purees, which is what we were interested in in the beginning. After we got back home a little over six months ago, somewhere between six and nine months ago, they started coming out with toddler plates. So it's just a little plate with a well-balanced meal and it's all organic and all you have to do is pop it in the microwave and heat it for one minute. It's so easy. I know she's getting good food and it saves me time when I'm here by myself and Tim's, you know, either at work or, you know, out of the state or country, whatever. It's just been a lifesaver. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it and show you what they look like just in case you have a little one or you know somebody that does and they might be interested too. So it comes in this box. It's very similar to a meal plan that you would get if you've ever done like, what's the one we used to do? Blue Apron or any of those meal plans. It's very similar, but it's for toddlers and babies. So you can see that it comes insulated. So if you live in the south like us, where it's warm most of the year, you don't have to worry about everything thawing or going bad because it's all packed in here. Let me tip this with these ice packs. And there's several of them on the top and the bottom. Also, these are really great to save if, in case you want to pack your cooler to go to the beach or wherever you're going. These are great, so we keep these in the freezer. I'll just go ahead and get them all out so we can look at what she got this week. And like I said, more coolies on the bottom and another tip I like to keep these little insulated panels for packing because we pack a lot um, or if you have a box of Christmas decorations or you have a box of whatever and you want to put it in the attic but you want it to stay you know like cushioned or safe these are wonderful for that So here's all her plates. We get 12, that's what we do, and we usually use these for lunch because that's when Tim's usually gone at work. So this is just really simple for me to just pop in the microwave when I only have two hands instead of four. So also with the plates, you have the option to get dips, and I'll show you those because I didn't order any this week, but I have some left over. These are the ones we usually get. So there's Asian soy glaze, and it's a low sodium soy sauce, toasted sesame and ginger fused together to form a rich unami glaze. And Story loves this one. And then there's a veggie ketchup, which is beets, butternut, and carrots. And then some honey mustard, which is Dijon and apple butter. So, anyways. So we have chicken teriyaki with quinoa veggie stir fry. They come in these cute little packages with these funny little characters on them, which Story loves. And then they have 
these clear, I don't know what this is, but it's just like a clear wrap that keeps all the air out and keeps it fresh. So then we just take this, pop it in the microwave for a minute, let it sit for a minute, and then peel this off. Done. If you hear any weird noises in the background, it's just this one. She's currently standing up in her crib right now, not napping. That's typical. So she also got spinach and cheese ravioli with veggie marinara sauce. And that's what that one looks like. This one's fun. It's a mac and cheese, mac and three cheese with invisible butternut squash and carrots. So that's what that looks like. Southwest chicken fajita bowl with veggie black bean rice. This is one of her favorites. And Story loves Taco Bell hot sauce. So this one is really easy to just get a little packet of hot sauce and put on there. If you if your kids like a little more spicier, like flavorful, bold flavors, whatever. So that's just what we do. Um, this one is turkey taco bowl with veggie black bean rice. And it looks like that. I'm gonna not pronounce this right, but Cali croquettes with veggie millet poppers and carrots. It's another good one. This is an easy one. Whole wheat spaghetti with veggie marinara sauce, kale, turkey, meatballs, and broccoli. So what I do is just warm this up and then mix it all together. It kind of disguises the broccoli, even though she, she kind of likes broccoli, but I don't know, maybe you could try that. If your kids don't like broccoli, just kind of mix it in and hide it. This one is called chicken super nuggets with sweet potato, carrot poppers, and broccoli. And it looks like that. And then cheesy black bean pupusas with veggie Spanish rice. Beet superfood sliders with sweet potato, carrot poppers, and peas. This is another one of her favorite ones, which surprised me but they're just like little mini burgers. <laughs> this was her absolute favorite from day one, which I was completely shocked by, but they look really good, so I guess I can understand why. Chicken pot stickers with quinoa, veggie, stir fry, and edamame. And she loves that Asian soy glaze on this. Again, we just mix it all up, and then I kind of like chop these in half, the little pot stickers, mix up the other stuff. She will gobble that down. So that's all of it. I'm gonna put these in the fridge, and then we'll be set for lunch for a couple weeks. If you have any questions on any of this, feel free to message me, ask me which ones we like, which ones we don't like. His story is a pretty adventurous eater, so there's not many of these that she doesn't like. There's a couple of them. They're not her favorites, so we don't order them, but she will eat them if we get them. One is like a breakfast scramble. Um, again, she'll eat it, but it's just not her favorite. She's, I think she likes more sweeter things in the morning versus savory. I don't know if they have it anymore, but they used to have this unicorn quinoa oatmeal, and it was really cute, and it had different colored sections of the oatmeal and it was pink and blue and yellow. She thought that was great. She thought that was so much fun. But again, breakfast is just another thing that we make at home so we don't get that one because these are more helpful to us than the breakfast ones. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. I forgot to add that these plates that they come in, they're recyclable. So we save all of ours and I use them all the time. So let me show you how many we actually have in our cabinet right now. Yeah, that's a lot. 
I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure Little Spoon has either already started or they're getting ready to start a program where you can send all the packaging back and recycle it through them. So that's another option if you don't want to throw it away and you don't want to keep any of them. I also have a $20 referral code, which I'll just leave in the description below. If you want to try it out, take the $20 and then you can cancel it if you don't like it or it's just not helpful. But I would highly recommend it. It's been a great program or we wouldn't be using it for almost two years. Check it out.